Hello everyone, this is Kenny Bruni and welcome to Cambridge Tech. So in this series of videos, we are building a Django web application from scratch. We are actually building an inventory management system. Now we've dealt with our views, our models, our templates, and we are beginning to write some logic within our views. We've created a registration view where we can now register users from our user interface without necessarily doing it at the back end. And that's exactly what we want our users to do. So now, as far as this application is concerned, when we come into, let me close this, when we come into our users over here, we have the email address blank over here. And I would want us to add the email address onto the registration panel, okay? So by default, we are only giving username and password and password confirm. We can modify things over here. Now we are quickly going to do this and move on to the login and logout views. So what I'm going to do is once again, we are going to close this and inside our users app or our user app, I'm going to create a file and I'm going to call this forms.py. So forms.py is what we are going to use in creating forms. Okay. This is just uh, something small we are doing with it but then we are going to use it a lot as far as our dashboard is concerned so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run some import over here so i'm going to say from django i'm going to import forms then the next thing i want to import is i want to import the user model because we are work or we are going to work with the user model over here so i'm going to say from i'm going to say from django dot contrib dot auth dot models import and I'm going to import the user then finally I'm going to say from Django dot contrib dot auth dot forms I'm going to import the user creation form all right, so this is the user creation form and we are going to modify it because by default, it doesn't come with email. Now we are going to modify it and bring email over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the class and what we have over here is user creation form. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to call this new class that I'm creating over here as create user form. So create user form and create user form is actually going to inherit from user creation form. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create in an email field over here. And the email field is going to be, or I mean, we we'll specify it as forms dots and we call the email field over here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify a class meta. We're going to see more of this as we move along. Now, this class meta is kind of defining how we want our form to look like. So the first attribute we pass under class meta is we pass in model. So the question is, which model do we want to create this form for? And the model is going to be our user. And the next one is fields. And this is where I'm going to show you something over here. So as far as the fields is concerned, we can this is in a list or a tuple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out um, a string over here and I'm going to do underscore or underscore. Now I'm going to save this and I'll come to views.py and inside views.py we need to import the form over here as a module so that you can work with this. So I'll save from the current folder dot forms. I want to import and I want to import the create user form, the one I just created. Now, as far as this create user form is concerned, instead of rendering user creation form, now we can make use of the create user form. So I'm going to copy this and paste it over here and paste it over here as well. Now, before we get shocked, let me just zoom this out a little bit. All right, so when I refresh this, now this is what we see and we see password login um, super user status and a bunch of other things okay 
this is essentially everything we have over here and we are seeing everything over here because of the fact that when we are creating a form okay when we go to fields we said we want everything all but indeed that's not what we want okay we just want to have email included so in order to do this we are going to put out a list over here so the list i want to specify username first and i want to have email second then i want to have password one and i also specify password two so when i save this and now when i come back to come and register we are going to get a different outlook for our form so clearly you have our username we have um our email a password one or the main password and confirm password and this is kind of the normal things you see as far as forms are concerned and this is exactly what we want so now let's create a new user and i'm going to call this kenneth brony my full name with no space actually then for the email address i'm going to use um kbrony123 at gmail.com that's my real email and i'm going to type in a password over here i'm going to type in same password over here now when i register indeed gets to the dashboard interface because that's what i'm specifying as far as my redirect is concerned and interestingly when i come into the back end now you can see that we have kenneth bruni and we indeed have an email address attached to it as we see over here okay so we have this email address over here so depending on what um exactly you want to see in our form i mean on our form we can put in those attributes we saw over there so for instance there are things we can do for um first name last name staff status and things of that sort okay we just have to be specific on the things that we want to see but for the purposes of this work i think our email is good for us